today we're going to move a couple of beehives. Uh, during this last uh, winter beekeeping season, we uh, I didn't, it would have been a pretty simple thing to fix and deal with, but with a new baby and all the busyness of life, I've got two bee yards, and one of them is really just the leftovers from the bees that I kept at my parents' house. There's only a couple of hives left up there, and I had been wanting to move them all uh, for a long time to my house. It's a lot easier, of course, to have all your bees in one spot. At least it is for me. But I've been wanting to do that, and I tried to do it. It was in 2017. It was actually election day, 2017, and I tried to do it. And I got a couple of them moved, and then I tried to lift a couple of hives, a couple of boxes together, and I pulled my back, and it was really, un I couldn't even go vote that day because I was laid up on the floor at the house and pulled out back. But anyway, long story short, uh, over the winter time, uh, some of them starved, unfortunately, with the baby and with all this stuff. Uh, some of my hives up, up there starved. My hives at my house were okay um, for the most part, but the ones at my parents' house uh, didn't really do well. Now, it would have been a simple thing to deal with and a simple thing to fix, but I just I didn't do it, and it's really my fault that they, that they didn't make it. But anyhow, we're going to go ahead up there, and we've only got two hives to move, so we're just going to do it quick and easy. I'm just going to put them in the back of the truck and uh, drive them, put them in their new spot at the house, and it should be nice. It should be pretty, it should be pretty it's a kamikaze bird. You know, it should be a pretty simple thing. But it's 58 degrees this morning, the sun's shining, and it's really an ideal temperature. It's 741 right now. And I like to get at this. If I'm going to move hives, I like to do it early in the morning or late in the evening because that's when all of the bees are in the house and in the hive. Distractors that won't make it back to a hive. It's a really beautiful morning to be doing this. I've said this quote on the channel before with them dealing with bees. It's from the from L.L. Langstroth, the man that invented the modern beehive. He was a he was actually a pastor as well. He said that the creator can be seen in all the works of his hands, but none more clearly than in the wise economy of the honeybee. And I uh, I can't I couldn't agree more. That is just a beautiful quote. Our creator is really really shown himself in, uh, in in honeybees, the way that they move, the way that they uh, pack honey back, the way that they build comb, it is just, it is just really miraculous, the way that they work. I can't look at honeybees, I can't look at living things like that and say that there's not a creator. I just can't do it. There's a God in heaven and he shows himself to us with nature. I mean, scriptures say that the rocks and trees cry out and nature points to our creator and it's um honeybees to me are really just one of the pinnacle of his creation i think i'm really a little bit concerned about this bee suit i actually Gave it a really good washing last week sometime. It had been probably a few years since I washed it, but I didn't have any bleach, so I just used some whitening, regular whitening detergent of some sort. And unfortunately, it's got a scent to it. And bees usually don't care for cologne and perfume and stuff that has scents to it. I washed it in some after that, I washed it in some scentless stuff, but it really didn't help. I think I'm just going to have to smoke it with my smoker real good. Try to get that off. I don't know how well the bees are going to react to it. I like to use pine straw. That's just what we've got a lot of down here with this, so it's free. Unfortunately, it's early in the morning right now, so this stuff's pretty wet. This stuff's dry. This is actually grass, I think. But this stuff's dry that was already in the smoker. So we're going to see if we can get that going real good, and maybe that'll help dry out the rest of it. I had a commenter ask me not long ago, how do you keep your smoker going? And uh, they'll keep themselves going if you pack them right, you get them good and hot right at first, and you're using the right type of fuel. They'll just keep going without any trouble at all. Sometimes you have to actually cool them down because they get so hot. Smelly laundry detergent. Okay. 
So I'm not going to open this up just yet. I want to see how heavy it is first. Yeah, that's got a lot of weight to it. I will have to open it up, unfortunately. Because we'll just give them a little bit of smoke here. Whatever entrance they might be using. These bees are working on a top entrance here, it looks like. We'll just give them a little bit of smoke. Wherever they are. And then we'll start pulling this thing apart. So you want to be as gentle as possible here to not disturb the bees. They're not flying yet this morning, which is exactly what we want. But if we disturb them too much, they will start flying. And the more bees you have flying, the more stragglers that you're going to have. And the only reason that I'm pulling them apart is because I can't pick up the entire beehive. And you're going to have some stragglers. We just want to minimize that. See, now I can get the rest of it, it looks like. Now this is just a five mile trip down the road. If this was a much longer trip, we'd have to take extra precautions with this. But since it's such a short trip, it's, you know, it's not, we're not gonna turn this into a huge ordeal. And we do wanna block off any entrance that we find that the bees have been using. So normally you would put straps across these things to keep them together or large staples to keep the boxes together. Since we're only going such a short distance, I'm just going to put a little bit of weight on it. Remember in this particular hive, this is connected and the bottom board is connected by, uh, by propolis. We didn't break those two seals. The only seals that we broke were the top and this, um, this top box here. So a little bit of weight on top of that and those that box will ride just fine. there it is guys it's quick and it's dirty and it's ugly but it'll get the job done we're only going about five miles so it should it should be just fine
The only reason that we were able to pick those things up so easily is because they're very light. And they're very light because there's not any food in them. And that's the reason I lost several hives this year. So we're gonna get a couple of feeders and make sure they've got enough syrup to last them until the, uh, the nectar starts coming in this year. Like I mentioned, we're gonna have to feed these bees. The boxes are so light that I can pretty well pick them up. And I like to use Boardman feeders. I'm sure I'm gonna get some comments about these Boardman feeders, but that's okay. Uh, Boardman feeders can encourage robbing behavior in hives, and that's obviously something that you don't want. I've never had any trouble with that. What I like to do is I like to take the jar and rinse the jar off real good. Make sure that sugar syrup is not on the outside of this jar. That sugar syrup that's on the outside could attract other bees and encourage a robbing situation. I also like to put entrance reducers in and all this is is a vine that I found at the edge of the woods. And that'll give the bees a much more defensible space if robbing does start to take place. They'll only have to defend this area over here. I've used in-hive feeders. I used them for years. I don't like them because it's a hassle to get to them. I can't see the level that they have left. And also I found that the bees propolize them pretty heavily, at least the ones that I was using. So guys, that's all I've got for today's video. I really appreciate you watching. I think that these hives will probably do okay once we get them over this hump of not having a whole lot of food. I'm gonna open them up and see what they're doing in there. I make sure the queen's still doing well, make sure they're laying. But I really think they'll do fine, and I didn't hurt my back this time, so that's definitely a plus. But make sure you hit that like button before you get out of here, and subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you all next time.